Welcome, this is the Singapore River Cruise and River Taxi Guide for visitors to Singapore. In this video, we'll provide a brief history of the importance of the Singapore River, as well as important details like the difference between the Singapore River Cruise and the Taxi Shuttle, with routes, times, and fee information. And of course, we'll share our own experience with money-saving tips. Keep watching this video to get the full details and see the glamorous districts of Singapore. P.S. Don't forget to like us and subscribe to our travel channel. Welcome to HipFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the Singapore Travel Guides for Visitors. This episode is the Singapore River Boat Cruise and River Taxi Helpful Info for Visitors to Singapore. During the 19th and 20th centuries during Singapore's colonial era, the Singapore River was the lifeline for commerce. Go-downs, warehouses filled with merchandise lined the Singapore River quays and small wooden boats called bum boats, also known as Tong Kang, transported merchandise along the Rocher, Kalong and Singapore Rivers. Since the late 80s, the bum boats are mainly used for ushering tourists and locals along the Singapore River. We found two boat companies which operate river cruises and water taxis in Singapore. The two companies are the Singapore River Cruise and Water B. Both companies operate a river cruise and water taxi shuttle service. The river cruise is a tourist cruise and the river shuttle boat is a commuting taxi boat. Both companies provide similar opportunities to see Singapore's major areas, Clark Quay, Boat Quay, and the Marina Bay. The Singapore River Cruise operates from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily with the last boat at 10.30 p.m. Boats depart every 10 to 15 minutes. There's also a laser show cruise in the evening at 7.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. The River Cruise by Waterby operates generally from 9 a.m to 10 p.m. with boats departing every half hour. Tickets for the river cruise cost 25 Singaporean dollars per person. The Singapore River Cruise Laser Show tickets cost 38 Singaporean dollars per person. You can purchase tickets online or in person. For Singapore River Cruise Company, you can purchase in person from Boat Quay, Reed Bridge, Clark Quay, Esplanade, Promenade, Bayfront South, Merline Park, or Fullerton Jetty kiosks. For Waterby, you can purchase tickets at any of the kiosks at Fort Canning, Untong Sen, Raffles Place, Clifford Pier, or Bayfront North. Although there are many places you can take a river cruise or river shuttle, we recommend taking them from the Clark Quay area. You can make your way to Clark Quay area by MRT, bus, or grab, and then walk to the waterfront. For more information on Singapore Public Transportation or Clark Quay, check out our videos on hipfig.com or on this travel channel. Please be aware that cash may not be accepted at the counters. You can pay with a credit card, Easy Link, or Nets Flash Pay. Also note, this is not a hop-on, hop-off type boat ride. You can get off at any of the jetty stops, but once you disembark the boat, your ride is over. You'll have to pay again if you want to get back on another boat. The entire Singapore River boat ride will take 40 minutes and provides fantastic views of Clark Quay, Boat Quay, and the Marina Bay. We will include route maps for your convenience on hipfig.com. Once on the bum boat, there's a pre-recorded video or audio which narrates the landmarks along the Singapore River in English. We took the Waterby River Taxi, also known as the River Shuttle, from Fort Canning Jetty Stop, which is near Clark Quay, towards Marina Bay to maximize our experience. Both Singapore River Cruise and Waterby offer water shuttle taxis. The boat we got onto was not the usual wooden bum boat, but it was decorated in a themed cartoon character motif. We were kindly welcomed into the boat and almost had the whole boat to ourselves. There is a covered and uncovered section of the boat, and we were allowed to walk freely around the boat and sit where we wanted. In terms of the river ride experience, there's not much difference between the two boat companies, but there is significant difference in price between the river cruise and the river shuttle. 
The river taxi or shuttle costs only five Singaporean dollars, but has less jetty stops. Singapore River Cruise and Water B have five jetty stops each around Boat Quay, Clark Quay, and Marina Bay along their shuttle bumboat routes. The River Shuttle Taxi operates from Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and between 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Boats depart every 10 to 15 minutes. Please make note that it does not operate on weekends and public holidays. Note for Waterby, the last boat departing Grand Copthorne Waterfront is at 6.30 p.m. and there are no videos or narration on these shuttle boats. Please also be aware that shuttle boat fares are one way. You must disembark at the last stops in each direction and then pay again to go in the opposite direction. The only hurdle to riding a Singapore River Taxi is the mode of payment. You can only pay by Easy Link card or Nets Flash Pay. We recommend taking the River Taxi in the late afternoon to see the sunset over the river. We took the Waterby Taxi in early evening from Fort Canning Jetty Stop towards the Raffle Place Jetty Stop. From Fort Canning, we passed Clark Quay, which was beginning to awaken. Clark's Quay is usually buzzing with nightlife. The waterfront is a kaleidoscope of restaurants, wine bars, entertainment spots, and retail shops. As we cruise past Clark Quay, you can feel the party-like vibe with loud music and sounds from the people sitting among the fields of alfresco bars and restaurants. Along the Boat Quay stretch, we saw parts of the central business district with its towering buildings alongside quaint traditional shops. By Raffles Landing Site, we also saw the white marble statue of Sir Stamford Raffles, noted as the founder of modern Singapore. Then we went under the long Esplanade Bridge, and once we exited, we were treated to the breathtaking view of Marina Bay, with the iconic Marina Bay Sand Hotel and Gardens by the Frip Bay in front of us, and the durian-shaped Esplanade Theater to the left. To the right of us was the crowded Merlion Park, and we waved at the tourists taking pictures by the Merlion Fountain. As the boat turned right, the views of the towering buildings of the Financial District and Marina Bay Waterfront Promenade were in full view. Then our boat led us off at the Raffles Place Jetty Stop. Our shuttle boat ride took about 20 minutes. Over the years, we've been to Marina Bay area many times, but by boat, it's a totally different experience altogether. The Singapore River Boat Cruise or the River Taxi Shuttle was a perfect relaxing end to a long day of exploring in Singapore. It's definitely worth your time and highly recommended. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our Hipfig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.